Today is going to be a really fun video because I am bringing you a TikTok trend. It is the two by two outfit formula, and we're going to talk about how it could work for plus size women. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia, and yes, we are going to be covering off on a trend that is on TikTok right now. It is the two by two outfit formula. And while it was inspired by TikTok, actually this particular video was inspired by Alyssa Bell Tempo, who brought this over and she talked about it on her channel. If you're not familiar with Alyssa Bell Tempo and her channel, she is all about creativity over consumerism and a slow fashion. She She's very inspiring. She's a fashion or personal stylist as well. And I love her content. Being a personal stylist myself, I wanted to explore this outfit formula because my passion in life is to help plus size women to be their most beautiful, elegant, and lovely selves. And as a personal stylist, it is my job to help women to find better ways and easy ways to get dressed. And so this outfit formula was very, very intriguing. And I felt that I needed to look into it a little bit more. If you're not familiar with what the two by two outfit formula is, it is essentially where you take two smart pieces and two casual pieces and you bring them together to create a smart casual look. I am a sucker for a good outfit formula and I really thought that this was pretty clever. It is an easy way of looking at getting dressed. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you seven different outfits as if like I'm mapping out my week in outfits and let's go ahead and dive in. For this look, I am bringing in a linen top and a blazer as my smart pieces. And then I'm bringing in some linen joggers and sneakers for the casual pieces. On admin days, it's a day when I'm sitting at my desk and I want to be very comfortable because I'm doing a lot of like scheduling and emailing and things like that. And I am not going anywhere. I'm not meeting with anyone. Maybe there's a phone call here or there, but it's mostly just sitting at my desk doing work and I need to be comfortable when I do that. So these linen joggers give me that level of comfort. They also will keep me cool being summer right now and it really helps me to feel comfortable you know all day long because they've got an elasticated waist. They have a drawstring so I can make adjustments if I need to and then of course sneakers. A sneaker is about as casual as you can get where shoes are concerned and then for the smart bits um, this linen top that I have. The reason I'm considering it a smart top or a smart piece is because it is what I consider an elevated basic. It's got a really beautiful gathered neckline both on the front and the back. It also is made of linen and so it's got a little bit more elevated fabric. I'm considering that more of a smart piece because to me this is absolutely something that you could wear to the office. And then of course a blazer. This is for if I have to go out like say for instance I want to go get a cup of coffee or something like that. I I throw on the blazer with this look and it creates such beautiful contrast. I did a video a few weeks ago talking about how to dress up a blazer and I talked about the contrast that you create. That's exactly what the two by two outfit formula does. It creates a certain level of contrast between the smart and the casual, which actually that juxtaposition creates lovely tension. It's cool visual tension that you're creating with your outfit when you mix the smart and the casual together. And it actually makes makes your outfits a lot more interesting because it's unexpected. That's why I gravitate to the two by two formula because of that, because it creates that visual tension. And you can suit these looks to fit your situation and customize this to suit your current lifestyle and your wardrobe. Look number two is comprised of a wide leg trouser and a blazer as my two smart pieces and a white t-shirt and a pair of sneakers as the two casual pieces. Now when it comes to doing meetings and my meetings are primarily Zoom meetings, sometimes they're face to face, but primarily it's Zoom. It's the feel that I get when I put these things together. A plain white t-shirt is incredibly versatile because you can do so many different things with it and it, you'll actually look 
look a little bit elevated with it, but it is considered a casual piece. So I'm creating a little bit of a sandwich with the sneakers because I've got the white on the bottom and the white on the top, even though when I put the blazer on, it breaks it up just a little bit, but still you're tying the two whites together um, at the top and the bottom. Now, when I do add the blazer, it completely elevates the look. And this particular two by two is one that aligns the most closely with what I consider my fallback uniform. When it comes to having these outfit formulas like the two by two, you can absolutely take a couple of the outfits that you create and call them or make them outfit uniforms. And by uniform, I mean it's an outfit that you can easily put together on the days where you just can't be bothered to figure out what to wear. And so you have an outfit that you really don't have to think about. It's a uniform. You can just throw it on and you're ready to go. I did add a bolder gold necklace here to kind of bring a little bit more visual interest to the t-shirt. You can absolutely add some accessories to make things look a little bit more elevated, a little bit better um, to kind of break up necklines or just to add some visual interest closer to your face or just to the outfit in general. The nice thing about the two by two formula is that it it is actually a really great formula for those of you who are in a business casual or casual corporate dress code because it allows you the opportunity to wear things that are casual but also wear things that are dressier and create a slightly more elevated look. That way you're standing out a little bit from the crowd or you're adhering to your dress code without looking sloppy. You want to avoid that at work at all costs even if you're in a really casual work environment you want to dress up just a little bit more because that helps you to stand out and it helps you to feel and be perceived as a little bit more professional the workplace is the workplace and you want to exude a certain air and the two by two outfit formula will help you achieve that easily For this outfit, I am bringing in a button-down shirt and a structured handbag. And then for the casual pieces, I've got my linen joggers and a pair of sandals because all I'm doing really is editing and then I'm gonna go out and run some errands. I really wanted to play up on the casual notes for this outfit. However, I am juxtaposing that with the structured bag. The two by two outfit formula does allow for you to use your accessories to play in to the outfit formula because accessories of course make such a huge impact on your look whether that's a structured bag a really nice piece of jewelry or a scarf or even your shoes help create that um, contrast of smart and casual for this outfit i really played on the casual tones because i took that structured very smart shirt and i tied it at my waist making it even more casual i love it because i'm super comfortable comfortable in this outfit. I don't have to worry about a tucked in shirt. Another benefit of the two by two outfit formula, it helps those of you folks out there who are stay at home. So you maybe you're a stay at home mom or you are a retiree and you want to dress casually, but you don't want to be in your loungewear all day and you don't want to look, you know, kind of loungy all day long. You actually want to maybe dress yourself up a little bit. That's the beauty of the two by two outfit formula is is that it allows you to understand how to still be casual but bring in one or two pieces that are a little bit dressier so if you're doing a big closet overhaul because you had this big lifestyle change I would say go ahead and hang on to one or two of your suits because you can use these pieces interchangeably in your everyday life when you pair them with something casual and the two by two outfit formula can really really help you with that so this is a great formula to use not just for those folks who are in a casual work environment but for those people who are in a casual life environment. This next outfit is comprised of a striped tank and a structured bag as my two smart pieces and then a maxi skirt and some sandals as my casual pieces. Essentially this is exactly the same look as the one before. It's just done with different types of pieces. I'm wearing a striped tank top and I'm wearing a maxi skirt. The reason that I'm considering the striped tank a smart piece is because to me stripes are a little bit more dressed up than 
your solid t-shirts or a floral t-shirt. It just feels a little bit more elevated. And so I'm considering that a smart piece. You could easily call it a casual piece if you wanted to, but for me, it feels more smart. And so that's why I've included it here. And then I brought in the structured bag again, because if I should have to venture out, just pick up the structured bag. And I've got a really nice look to go out in, even though it is very, very casual. But for the purposes of the, you know, what I'm doing for the day this is absolutely perfect because it is very very comfortable really super easy to wear i'm not going to get overheated in it again the two by two outfit for the win because it is so easy for me to pull this look together and still look put together if i have to get you know go out of the house For the next look, I am doing a button down shirt and a pair of classic pumps as my smart pieces. And then for the casual pieces, I am wearing a pair of linen joggers and a straw or woven belt. So once again, I am using my accessories to kind of help drive that casual look in this case. Now, this is a date night look. And this one is one that I normally would not have worn. And again, the two by two outfit formula makes you think outside your style box. I did have to put some thought into, you know, how I'm gonna juxtapose my more tailored pieces with my more casual pieces. Now, I do realize that I am leaning very heavily on, uh, you know, these two pair of linen joggers, because again, these are the most casual pieces I have in my closet. It's brought to light that everything that I have tends to be very tailored. It's really kind of dressy. And so I might want to consider maybe bringing in a couple more casual pieces to, um, to help supplement my current wardrobe. But that aside, what I love about doing this exercise is that I have created an outfit that is way outside of what I normally would have worn because had I not been following this formula, this would have been a pair of wide leg pants with everything and it would have been a lot more dressy but in this case because i've got the linen joggers they're very slouchy and relaxed it created a whole different silhouette for me that i am here for i really really like this look i love how it turned out and this is one that i am absolutely going to wear the next time i go out for a fancier dinner because it is dressy but it is casual and i just I'm, I'm loving it, you know, and I really, really appreciate the fact that I was forced to think outside of what I normally would wear and actually created an outfit that I am like so surprised that I love as much as I do. So it will help you to think differently about how you're putting your outfits together and you might come up with combinations that are different, but that work and that you absolutely love. For the next look, I have got a wide leg trouser and my Valentino leather belt as my smart pieces. And then for my casual pieces, I have a white t-shirt and a pair of sandals. So this is another one of those looks that aligns very, very closely with my own personal style. But I have to say that in looking at it and in wearing it, I am so in love with this outfit. I really, really love the way that I look. I normally would not have worn the sandals. I probably would have worn a pair of sneakers or a loafer mule or something like that. But instead I've worn the sandals and I feel for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel very much like money in this outfit, you know, hitting that quiet luxury kind of aesthetic a little bit. The t-shirt is a, a basic, but it still looks really nice. And with the belt really bringing and elevating the look and the wide leg pant being so flowy and comfortable, and then you've got the sandal, I just feel really, really good in this outfit. Family dinner could be going to someone's house. It could be going out to a restaurant. You know, it could be any number of things. And I would totally wear this outfit for any of those because this outfit is absolute perfection in my opinion, especially being summertime. Those little sandals look really, really great with the entire outfit. Now, sadly, those sandals I got from Nordstrom a couple years ago, I don't think they carry them anymore, but I will try and find something similar. Still, 
I really, really like this outfit. I think that it looks very, very well pulled together. It looks really elevated and yet so classic and simple. It doesn't have to be a designer belt, by the way. It just has to be a belt that feels more dressy. And one of the things that I wanna mention about this is that you can substitute anything that you have here. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm wearing. This is more designed for helping to inspire you. This is just more as a guide on how to use the two by two outfit formula. For this last outfit, I'm wearing my striped tank and a pair of loafer mules as my smart pieces, and then linen joggers and a straw tote for my casual pieces. I have to be honest with you, I struggle the most with this particular outfit because I started out with a pair of black loafer mules and they just weren't jibing with the look. There was just something off about the look. I didn't feel like I was balanced with everything else that I was wearing and it just felt off kilter. I didn't feel good in the look. And so I changed out the loafer mules to the gold beigey reptile loafer mules that you see me wearing here. And that actually balanced out because the tones of the loafer mules worked with the tones of the straw bag. That was what was throwing things off. I finally settled on the look. I liked it much, much better. And I was fine. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I can live with this outfit. Just goes to show you that even as a personal stylist, I don't always get it right. I have to try things out. I have to look at them in the mirror and well, in this case, in a camera to figure out how do I make this look balanced? But even me as a personal stylist, I sometimes struggle coming up with looks. And this was one where I really had to try hard in order to make it work. You have to do that sometimes. You have to do that sometimes because that's just the nature of getting dressed and it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You just keep trying until you figure out, you know, what does work. It's nothing personal. It's just things weren't working. Overall, if you couldn't tell, I really, really like this two by two outfit formula because it can suit a lot of different lifestyles. It can suit a lot of different life situations. You can use this in your everyday life, in your work life, in a vacation setting. You can apply it anywhere and I think it's gonna work out beautifully for you. It is a really good little formula to have in your back pocket. I really enjoy it. If you've tried this formula or if you decide to try this formula, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below. I really would love to hear what you think and what the outcomes were when you applied the outfit formula to your life. For those of you ladies asking for uh, business casual ideas or also for those of you ladies who are like retired and have asked me what should I do, how should I dress, this outfit formula is for you, so give it a try. I'm gonna leave you with my video talking about the things that I have been loving in the first half of 2023. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I hope to see you in that video. Bye.